Hi guys and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Wednesday the 14th of December 2022. Thanks for joining me. I want to use the Tarot of the Cat People today and I'm just going to show you some of these cards so you see them before I actually choose three. I really like this deck. It's cheerful and colorful. So let's see what the Tarot wants you to be aware of here on Wednesday the 14th and what energy you'll be working with. Right, first card is Rejuvenation. That's the Judgment card in the regular tarot. And that looks very joyful there. Then we've got the Hermit. Okay, so either a different type of joy or a juxtaposition of two things that are very different on this day. And finally, we've got the Four of Wands, which is a celebration. It's usually depicted as a wedding and it creates a doorway. Here we've got someone playing this instrument and the cats are hypnotized and relaxed and it's, it's a good time. Okay, so the rejuvenation cards are usually judgment in the tarot. We've got an angel coming in with this trumpet that's usually on fire. It, blow, it blows the trumpet and then people kind of w arise from their coffins. They kind of wake up from something that seemed to be a dream and they kind of hear this call of their higher self and they're like, okay, this is something I absolutely have to pursue. So it's um, really interesting that it's been renamed here because I love this. And this figure is so joyful and so the cats. and So she's coming out of the water here. So this is something that stems from your connection to source. So an easy way of tapping into this on this day is to... Connect in whichever way works for you, whether it's playing music or it's meditation and contemplation or it's dance or playing with the animals. Um, it's that personal process that no one can really tell you exactly what it is. It's something that you discover for yourself. So the rejuvenation card then, we've got this source of joy that stems from it and it's kind of contagious. It leads other people to share in the love and the joy. So... It's interesting because I don't see a trumpet. I don't see any message coming in. Uh, uh, she's the message, if anything. So it's it's not that the sense of fire comes from some external source. It's something that you naturally feel within, and you're gonna. It's very likely, according to this card, that you're going to be motivated on this day. That you have lots of different things that you want to pursue. Each one of these in a bubble, a different dream that makes you feel good. That may have manifested already, or maybe something that you, you can manifest on this day easily. And the key to that, I feel, is because of all the yellow and this this exuberance, because whenever you approach anything on that level, of course, the outcome is going to be much easier and happier. So this is near the end of the major arcana. We just have the world after this, the 21st card. So this is really... Once you've had all of the experiences along the Fool's journey in the Major Arcana, you realize that joy and rejuvenation is accessible to you at any moment. All you need to do is connect with your higher self and you're able to plug yourself back into that. So today you don't have to do a lot of work, I feel, but with the Hermit, the Hermit is the ninth card in the Major Arcana. So this is in numerology nine is spirituality and completion. And that's what he's trying to do. He's in this process of... I'm going to go out into the desert with my lantern in order to understand. So whereas it looks so easy for her and she embodies this so naturally, he's on a mission to find this kind of joy. And it's really interesting that they're kind of facing off these two because this is like inexperience. It's I need to go and find, you know, some spiritual teacher to become enlightened in myself. And then here she is, and she says, I am the spiritual teacher. I, I, cont that's all contained within me, and I know how to tap into it. So I don't need to go into the desert and find it. I am the lantern as such. So that's really interesting, because I feel on this day, anyone who's kind of felt like they've been, you know, tapping around in the fog or something, things haven't been clear, it's replaced by this this simplicity and this experience and wisdom that says, I don't need anything external. I've got everything I need. And unless, you know, you, unless someone, unless you feel that in your bones, it doesn't matter if someone tells you. Either it's there and it's a truth or it isn't. But then here with the four of ones, 
This is also a card that says it's time to celebrate. You're living your life purpose. Enjoy the moment. These cats aren't going anywhere. They're just, you know, lying there enjoying themselves. So you're entitled to tap into this ease of being at the moment. And even though I feel like I'm missing something, I need to look at the hermit again. I just feel like give yourself a break. If you're being super disciplined and hard on yourself, you're like, okay, you want to make spiritual progress. You have to meditate for two hours so that you have this breakthrough and everything makes sense. That, according to these cards, doesn't work. The, the breakthrough already exists in you every time you laugh or you're able to, to, to laugh, you know, and you're surprised by something that, that triggers this sense of joy in you. That's really the end goal of any spiritual practice. So I guess I, my message from this is saying, don't work yourself too hard. Take time to listen to the music and to smell the roses and to have a good time, the, the potential to be happy and to connect in a meaningful way, even though it may not seem very productive. This kind of thing, for instance, let's say these cats were other people, right? And he's playing them a song and they're really hypnotized by it and they just find it amazing. That's going to bond people together much more than some sort of rigid schedule or it doesn't seem to be productive. But it's the connection that's really important. And I think that's what the cards are trying to say. This isn't something you can force. Relax into it. And it's a feeling or uh, an inner sense of fire that appears. And if you are trying to have a spiritual breakthrough, kind of, yeah, then it's not about pushing yourself in a particular direction. It's about um, letting it kind of just blossom out of you, I suppose. And um, the only message I'm getting with these cats, these are all kind of, this one looks a little bit terrified. They're kind of, I don't know, going through their own process. I don't know why, but for me, this says that particularly if there's a conflict with other people, then again, hammering it and saying, okay, let's hash this out and go through every detail so we get, get to resolution. That's not going to be as effective as rem rem excuse me, remembering why you were friends to begin with and, and focusing on those things. So I'm not saying sweep it under the rug, but I think this hardline approach of I'm going to make something happen for myself, it's in my control, I think that's not going to work today. And what works much better is aligning yourself with going with the flow and tapping into the positive things that already exist in your life and seeing how they expand and how you can actually um, move ahead in those areas. Okay, so number-wise, we've got 20 and 9 is 29, and 4 is 33. 33 is the um, number I associate with the Ascended Masters. 11 and 22 are master numbers in numerology, so they have added significance. Technically, 33 isn't, but I mean, it's 3 and 3, so it's double as far as I'm concerned. 3 is about communication and new beginnings, and 33 is about communicating with your ascended masters or your spirit guides or your animal guides, something that exists in the spiritual realms. So you have that on your side, according to the numbers. The hermit, so to speak, has already found his answer, but he's still wandering around. So you don't need to do the work with the, with the higher self supporting you in everything. That's why you're able to tap into these great things. So it's time to enjoy yourself and to pursue things that really make you feel this way and not this way. Yeah. Okay, so I hope you have a wonderful day. If you'd like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. On the front page, click on book your reading to order your reading with me. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please hit subscribe and share it online. Have an amazing day and I'll speak to you tomorrow.